I guess it's about time we said hello to Weatherby. Just talking about it. I thought I told you to stay off my property. What will be, uh, get this with me? My new foreman. Yeah, all right, as long as he's your man. Oh, I want you to meet my new foreman, Bert Yates. Kelly. We've met. Yeah, Bert's an all round top hand, Ben. I thought he might ramrod the drive. Now, that's Kelly's job. We agreed that my foreman would be trail boss. Well, this is anybody but him. I'd live up to the agreement. Kelly, Smokey found those strays in a draw about four miles out. I've got work to do. All right. He's a troublemaker. If you knew him like I did, you wouldn't now, want Kelly to... brought I heard, and he did a very good job of it. Ben's right. We did agree his foreman would boss the show. Now, my herd's still out. Logan and Carrillo are behind me. Yeah, I know. Logan that. agreed to back Ben's choice. That's three to one, even without Carrillo's vote. You got a nice looking herd, Ben. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah. It's gonna be a week before the drive starts. A lot can happen in a week. If I was you, I wouldn't worry about Kelly ramrodding anything. Strays gathered in. What's that there behind you? Yeah. You son of a gun. He must have hermit blood. I bet I chased him back to the herd a hundred times, ringing him down. This will make a hundred and one. Work on your arm, old timer. You gotta catch him, not spook him. Didn't anybody ever tell you about roping other people's cattle? Well, I'm just trying to help. You sure look like you needed some help. When I need help, I'll ask for it. Now that you got him roped, take him on in. Yes, sir. You're the trail boss. Yeah. 
What's that all about? Weatherby wants him to be trail boss. That's a little late for that. Yeah, Bert doesn't think so, though. I figured the fun rose of hands that eat at the cookhouse as long as we're here. If I got a chance of that, I'd have a whole hour off. You wouldn't like that no better, and we wouldn't have nothing to complain about then. Try me. Pretty good biscuits. You can't say too much if you coffee. Coffee can't say much for you, either. I see Logan's made it. Yeah. Ben, you know Kelly used to work for me. Did he ever tell you why I fired him? Bottle trouble, he told me. Whiskey. That's right, and it got him in serious trouble. Got him in jail. I know. Oh, look, I don't like a man ramrodding a big drive like this. I just don't like it. He made his mistakes, he paid for them. He deserves another chance. I guess Carillo should make it in a couple of days or so. Yeah. Look, I see you're short of horses. Yeah, that's why we brought our herd in early. Wild horse country all around here. Figure while we're waiting for the other herds to get here, we can round up as many as we want to. Kelly gonna boss that too? Yeah. You start out early in the morning, take the chug wagon and as many men as we can spare. You know, Bert knows that territory. Might help if I send him along. Might. Good insurance, too. You know, that's how Kelly got in trouble. Took crew men up in the woods where I couldn't see him. And... You think it's going to happen again? I know it. And if it does, we're having another owner's meeting and a new trail boss. Well, that's fair. Ain't it? Yes, it's fair. <laughs> Two miles out, he said. Then I find the road heading east, he said. What he means by a road from Chuckles all the way to the lake. That's the way. If I ever. Is this yours? Yes, sir. Sanch is rotten on you. Rope something with this outfit, you're gonna have a wreck. Well, I've had him before. Then you ought to know better. Harness makers in the barn go by and get you another Sanch, huh? Yes, sir. Damn, he takes good care of you, don't he? Probably tucks you in every night. <laughs> he cares about as much about me as a bull does his calf. Right. The chuck old kid. <laughs> oh, Kelly. Yes, sir. Speak your man yet? Yes, sir. Six be enough? Should be if I work all right. You know why they'll be sending Bert Yates on. I know. He's a good hand. And he wants my job. But so do I. That's why I'm gonna make it. I know you will. I got some senses to look at. I better go do it. Stood. He sure is something, ain't he? That's a lot of horse. Big as I am, he can carry me all day. Thinking about him carrying me? Well, take it easy now, boys. He's mine. You gotta catch him first. Hold up a minute there. We got work to do around here before we start chasing any horses.
How's that for a day's work, boss man? Fair, but no better than that. I could have caught that black. You killed your horse if you'd have tried it. That stud would run you and your horse right into the ground. Well, now, I might not have caught him, and then you'd have looked good. You let me worry about that, will you? After supper, you boys get your bedrolls and go down and stand guard at the corral. All night? Yeah. All night. Yeah, you just go on grinning. I'm going to show that old man up yet. Yeah? That what? Just about everything. Rope and ride and you name it. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, well, you're going to see it. Oh, we work a long, hard day. And we got more hard days coming. The thanks we get for it's to stand all night with a bunch of corralled horses. Well, that's the brakes. Yeah, that's the brakes. But I think come night, I'm just going to take my horse and walk him up that hill over there and ride into Stillwater and get me the drink I deserve. Any of you boys who aren't afraid of old Kelly are welcome to come along with me. I'll drink to that. Now, there's a man after my own heart. Come on. Montana, you and Ames get dressed and go down and fix that corral. We're going to Stillwater. I'll saddle horses. Now, what's wrong with you? I got no saddle horse. You got a wagon team, ride one of them. Or walk. I don't care how you get there, just get there. Hi, boss. Where did you come from? Same place you're going. Hey, wake up, Hart. Boss, it's your mat, Quincy. Get over here. 
You just can't cross that. Sardo, get your horses. Who's on your horse? Oh, what are you saying? can eat or go without. We ride in 10 minutes. Coffee? You better eat, son. Just coffee. Kelly will run you till you fall clean out of that saddle. Not me, he won't. He already did. I was drunk. Next time I'll be sober. Something you ought to know. Kelly used to drink and brawl when he worked for Weatherby. He wrecked a saloon and he beat up on some townies. He so what? He killed one of them. Sent the other two to the hospital. Expected us. This will make the first gathering look like a Sunday school picnic. time we stay with the herd, no matter what that stallion does. Come on.
told you to stay with the herd. I could have had him. I could have had him three times. Look, you might be Weatherby's hand, but when you're riding with me, you do what I say. You know, I'm looking forward to something. What's that? Hanging your hide to the barn door. <laughs> Kelly did a good job. Not very. We had to do it twice. Well, it was worth it. Sure was. Bones, I'll need all the help I can get. Hey, Bert, I got five dollars, says a boss man rides him easy. You're on. Anybody else? I'll take a dollar. I'll take four bits of that. Chuck, old kid. <laughs> well, she's all yours.
hot-headed old thing. <laughs> Whoa! All right, boys, let's pay up. I thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Oh, well, it was a little too tough, wasn't it, old boy, huh? Yeah, for this time. Well, I got, uh, I got ten dollars here that says that I can ride that horse if you'll just let me use your saddle. Well, you got yourself a bet. Okay. All right, we'll let Bones here hold it for us. Yeah, so you'll be sure and stay honest. Yeah, you just keep your eyes open. Five more dollars. It says you can't ride him either. You're on. Anybody else? I'll take a dollar. Two bits more. I'll take a dollar of that. I'll take a couple of dollars myself. Let her go. Ride him, Bert! I'm gonna have that horse on top of him in a minute. <laughs> Not my turn. Oh, I love you when your money's gone, but I can't be with you. Where's my money, Bones? Where's my money? Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, that's nice. That was a good ride you made there. Well, it was an easy ride, real easy. You think that ride will get you my job? Well, I wouldn't worry about it, old timer, if it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Look, you roped a steer that I missed and rode a horse that bucked me off. But that don't make you a trail boat. Boy, that age will get to you, won't it? Yes, sir, I hope when I'm as old as you are that I can face it. You're brewing for a fight, ain't you? I'm not drunk now. You want to try it? No, I don't want to oblige you now. If I'd bust you up, I'd be short-handed, and I need you to help me break these horses. All right. All right, I'll let you back off, but when you finish breaking the horses, you and me are going to settle it. Yeah. We'll settle it. You all right? Yeah, I just banged my knee a little bit. But I've done it before. You don't have to prove anything. Time for supper. Green high, green bits. Two, let's see, yeah, two bits. Call. Yeah, did you see old Kelly's face when he had to pay off? Yeah, I saw it. Same face he wears all the time. You didn't look close. It was the face of an old man fraying at the seams. Bear Queens, your bet. Bear Queens will have to bet a dollar. Oh. 
Yes, sir. His hands were shaking. Eyes watering. You making window. speeches or playing cards? Well, I'd have to say a little bit of both. Cost you two dollars to call. Pass. You know your luck sure running good in this card game. But how much luck do you think you'd have catching that black stud? Well, if I knew where he took the rest of his herd, I'd catch him tomorrow. Suppose I ride out of sunrise and locate him. Now, Smokey, you do that, and I'll have me a big black stallion tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you twice what you got there that you can't catch him. You got yourself a bet. Quincy, can I have a couple dollars there? Sure. Me too. Well, I'm gonna have me a big black stallion and money in my pocket. <laughs> sure, Let's play a little draw. Instead. Where? We'll be on those hills. Well, let's go. Now, boys, you dealt out the cards. You let me play out the hand. You just be sure and have old Kelly here when I get back.
Yeah. I'm all right. <laughs> Run, damn you, run. If you hadn't done that, I would have. Well, that ought to taught you something. Yeah. Yeah, I guess next to me, you're the best. Yeah. <laughs> Find yourself a shady spot, and I'll go get you another horse. Well, how about giving me a lift? Well, throw your saddle up here. Whoa. You don't. Take it a little easy, this old thing will buck us off. Keep your feet out of the flat. You just ride. <laughs> you got the herd ready to move out, Mr. Cartwright. Thank you. Keep moving now. Yes, sir. See you when we get back. You can take the lead, Bert. All right. <laughs> said he wasn't a top hand. That's right. You never said he wasn't. 